Fox 13 meteorologist Dave Osterberg with your Sky Tower radar forecast. Uh, 515, look at the temperatures this morning. They're a little bit warmer than they were yesterday at this time. 81 in Tampa, 84. Yeah, 84 in St. Pete. Look at the 80s along the coast. Even some folks inland, like Winter Haven, looking at you, you're still sitting at 80 degrees this morning. Some lower 80s down over South Florida, upper 70s as we're crossing I-10. The heat risk outlook, moderate to major again today. So the heat index is going well above that 100 degree mark. And guess what's back, the heat advisory. So later this afternoon and before we get the scattered showers and thunderstorms, you're talking about a heat index, 110, maybe 111 degrees. That's what it's gonna feel like out there. Very, very similar to yesterday. And then the scattered showers and thunderstorms will take over. And in true Florida fashion, we'll pop up a few showers and storms, but they're going to be kind of slow movers. Uh, we don't see a lot of wind kind of pushing these around. So if you get underneath one of them, boy, is it going to rain heavily. So be careful, of course. Watch out for the lightning. And when thunder roars, Laura Moody, what do we do? Go indoors. There she goes. I didn't even, she was ready for that. She was ready for that. We've got Barrel about to make landfall on the Yucatan Peninsula. It's really hard to find where the actual center is, and I'm assuming it's somewhere near where this lightning was, and it's very close to Tulum and Cozumel. So Cozumel is really on the bad side of this particular storm. So is Cancun. Cozumel even worse, though, as this is all just pouring on shore now. This will eventually head past the Yucatan and go back into the Gulf of Mexico, where many computer models are now inching closer to Texas as a potential landfall. So after the Grenadines, just south of Jamaica, now moving through the Yucatan, this storm could still have a landfall in the United States, mainly around the Brownsville to Corpus Christi area. So something that bears watching and then raining itself out likely over parts of southeastern Texas. Meanwhile, that disturbance behind it gone. No worries there. And look what's in the wake of all of this. This is all dust coming off the coast of Africa. And this is likely going to keep at least this part of the tropics quiet for a while until that dust just kind of settles out. So barrel still hanging around that is going into the Yucatan and potentially into Texas this weekend. Scattered afternoon storms for us today with a high temperature about 93 degrees. Our rain chance right up there at about 50 50 storms will end this evening. Muggy overnight with a low of 79 and then tomorrow right back at it again with partly cloudy conditions and a high temperature of 93 tomorrow at rain chance will hold at about 50%. Smooth to light chop all weekend long boaters. You're going to love that. Just watch out. You'll be dodging a few storms and the rain chance this is normal summer stuff all the way through the beginning of next week, okay?